Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is As From Home Style Cooking. Today I'm bringing a special uh, lamb liver or kaleji, some people call it. So I'm using one kg of uh, lamb liver. I'm using four chopped tomatoes in there, one full onion, four cloves of uh, garlic, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of um, cumin powder, one teaspoon normal cumin, one teaspoon of garam masala, one and a half teaspoon of salt, two tablespoon uh, ginger garlic paste, two tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of crushed chili, half a cup oil, half uh, lemon and handful of chopped coriander and mint for garnishing but we will also add in the middle. So these are the ingredients and we will start cooking. Right guys so we are now preparing uh, uh, the liver or kaleji. Uh, so I'm adding this half a cup oil and in that oil I'm gonna add the onions finely chopped one full onion and tomato Also, four or five cloves of uh, chopped garlic to prepare the dates. Now we will start frying it. Remember, we need to make a pop of taste of it, you know, when it gets very really soft before we add the liver, the kaleji in there. Just do it on a high flame at the moment because otherwise they may take long. Right, so onion has been onion tomatoes mixed after five minutes. That's how it looks like. It's soft and garlic. That's the paste we need. That's what I was talking about earlier. And after that, add this. 2 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, coriander powder, crushed chili, and a half a lemon, fresh lemon, I don't like lemon juice, just squeeze a half lemon and in terms of the spice we will add everything else apart from the salt because if we add the salt it will make it very very hot so I want to leave it till the end okay salt we will leave it till the end now mix it properly Take this paste, now you can see, mmm, nice smell, lovely. Wow, oh, look at that paste. Now it's all infused. We will add the kaleji, the liver. Fry it properly for a good 10 minutes then we will leave on the stove we have to fry it properly until you see this pink color is changed and on a high flame right so after 20 minutes of rigorous frying that's how the color comes up now uh, what I'm gonna do as you can see is quite good color I'm gonna add a bit of coriander and mint the rest we will leave it for garnishing and now what we will do we will leave it for 
uh, another 15 minutes to 20 minutes on stove on uh, medium to high flame so this masala doesn't get burnt so just leave it like that for 20 minutes and keep checking how soft the meat is and then I will be back in 20 minutes okay guys so after 15 minutes on the stove on medium to high flame I'm just gonna check in front of you if it's done it's quite soft as you can see it's literally breaking so this is done so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add the sauce on top remaining and then mix it properly and leave it on the stove now we can just bring the flame a bit slow because everything is done it's all about mixing all this mixture so that's a proper masala kaleji or liver which you normally eat uh, in Bakrit with prata you can serve this with prata or white boiled rice will be nice as well and after this this is for garnishing people add green chilies as well you can do that but I've added enough chili in there so I'm not gonna add that so that's how it looks like so guys so that's the color as you can see now after adding uh, salt and things that's how it looks like it looks beautiful and smells amazing you got to try write in the comment if you tried the recipe how was it right guys look at this it looks amazing so that's how we're gonna serve it you can do paratas on the side you can do normal bread you can do you know uh, flour rice you know the white rice with butter is gonna look amazing look at the color and have you ever seen kaleji in a fish look at that looks beautiful